Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Three Big Questions. As always, I'm your host, Darren Matt, editor of Wealth Professional Canada magazine. And today, I'm pleased to be joined by Grant White, Portfolio Manager and Financial Planner at Endeavor Wealth Management, IA Securities. Grant, great to see you. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Uh, so for our viewers uh, who might be new to this, Three Big Questions breaks down three questions that our team has pulled from wealthprofessional.ca that advisors and industry professionals have been searching for. So Grant, my first question is, you know, we saw a huge surge in passive strategies when the market was on its long bull run, but how should advisors be weighting investment strategies now? Yeah, I think that's a really good question. And I actually think that this is a really dangerous time for investors as well, because, you know, what we see a lot of in the industry and it comes from advisors, too. But uh, what we see a lot of from investors is chasing the returns and chasing the what the, the past story has been. And, and I think in a time like this where we might be going through a style change where what was in favor is now going out of favor and what and, and for something else that's going to be in favor. And so what you really want to avoid, in my opinion, the advice I give is that don't don't start jumping around uh, from strategy to strategy um, and, and really just stay disciplined, because that's what we've seen over longer term periods of time. Those that are disciplined investors to the strategy. Uh, tend to be uh, the ones that outperform. The risk you run by trying to flip flop around is that um, you might be catching it at all the wrong times. And we've seen that from a lot of different investors. So that kind of brings me to my next question. And many advisors are kind of wondering where they can look. Uh, what are some of the best investments that, that they can look at for the rest of 2020 in your view? Well, as I mentioned, I think high quality is really what you want to stick to. So, you know, we've been focusing on really high quality individual companies um, in particular. Um, but at the same time, being a value, having a value approach, um, I think this is a, been a really good time to be value managers like ourselves. Um, because one, it's, it's that style has been out of favor for quite some time now. But now is kind of the opportunity where we've been able to pick up some really high quality companies. And I think, in my opinion, get the exact same return uh, possibility with some lower quality assets, where, which might have more volatility going forward. Um, so we're seeing great opportunities still in Canadian financials, which haven't quite caught the uptick uh, of the rest of the market. You can see some of them are still down about 20 percent or more as compared to the overall market. Um, so we're seeing those opportunities there. But I think you got to be really careful on price at the same time, because this market, as we said, you know, March was a terrible month. Uh, 19, but in, in April it was the best month since 1987. So with that approach to investments and where to look, what steps can advisors take right now to ensure their clients' retirement plans survive this crisis? Yeah, a really good question. And I think that, um, truthfully, this is a, a planner's market, if you will, uh, because I think that you know planning has probably fallen by the, the wayside a little bit or maybe not valued as much as it should have been over the last 10 years because good markets can cover up either a lack of planning or even uh, – you know, maybe even bad planning, if you will. A lot of investors found themselves that they weren't necessarily prepared for these, this type of an event. Um, so that's going to shift the way people plan going forward as well. Having some money uh, set aside for income purposes, if you're in retirement or near retirement, uh, will help to shield your portfolio from a lot of this volatility that we've seen, or at least allow it to recover. Um, so I think those are the considerations that should be made. But um, I would definitely encourage planners to uh, be very active right now and, and one, reassuring their clients that they're going to be okay, but two, address any uh, shortfalls that they might be seeing 20 years from now. Great. Well, that has been another three big questions. Thanks to my guest, Grant White. For more on Grant, you can visit EndeavorWealth.ca. And as always, make sure to visit WealthProfessional.ca for all the latest news and analysis designed specifically for advisors. I'm Darren Matt. Until next time. <laughs>